Let's return to the existential statement and their proofs. So, uh, what is important to, 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 to understand here? Let, 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 let's start with some example again, a simple example. Imagine you want to find a two-digit number that becomes seven times smaller when the first digit is deleted. Uh, well, it's a very easy question because that not, there is not so many uh, two-digit numbers and also it should be divisible by seven. So if you remember the multiplication table, uh, you start, the first two-digit number is 40 and then they go and then you get 30, uh, 63 and the next one is 70 and then division by seven gives 10, which is not one digit. So uh, it's it's simply a small list and you can check that 35 is the only thing. And uh, if you ask for something more complicated, for example, imagine we asked you for a number uh, that becomes 57 times smaller when the first digit is deleted. It's Then it's not so easy. And what is important, that if you come next day and say, look, here is the number, then you are done. We have no right to ask you why you choose this number and how you found it. So it's just, just you give the example, we check the example and we should be completely satisfied. And this is uh, from, from, from the student's view. But of course, the teachers, as usually, the teachers do not have the rights the student have. So if you are a teacher, then you should explain uh, how you find the, the, the solution. And now we'll try to uh, explain how you can do this. So uh, no, just let's, let's, let's write again, what do we want? We, so here is the number. Here is the first digit which should be deleted. This is what remains. And this is the, our equation shows uh, what uh, should be achieved. Okay, but this is not very common for algebra because there is some dots here. So the number is, is written in a, in a decimal notation. It's not very good. So let's, let's rewrite it some. Imagine that denote this, this part by x. And then on the right hand side we have 57x, it's easy. But on the left hand side we have x plus uh, a000 and we need k mm, zeros. And what is important that if we add one zero, this means that we multiply a by 10. So actually this thing is just a times 10 to the number of zeros. And we will write it now in a so we assume that x has, has k digits and we write this equation. So this is a shifted to the k places to the left and then we add x and get 57 times x as, 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 it, as we should. Okay, now it's a better equation because we can move x in the right hand side and I get that a times 10 to the k is 56 times x and 56 is 7 times 8. And now if you meditate a bit, you see how can you find A. So from this equation, you can find A. Do you see how to do this? Look, here, here is the, in the right hand side, we have factor, factor 7. So in the left hand side, also 7 should be somewhere. And here, 10 is 2 times 5, so it's 10. 2 to the k times 5 to the k. So here 7 cannot hide. So the 7 should be here. And a is just one digit. So a should be 7. There is no other possibilities. And this should be written in the next slide. No, this is uh, uh, a should be divisible by 7 as our first. It should contain 7 as a factor. And only uh, a is only 7, only one case. So we know a now. And then if we, we know that this is 7, so we can cancel the 7. And then we know that 10 to the k is 8 times x. So the question, what, 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 what we don't know, what we don't know the k. So uh, 10 to the k should be divisible by 8. This is, this is the only thing we need. And for, uh, you see the 10, 1000 are not multiples of 8, and 
10 and 100 is not multiples, but 1000 is a multiple. So we know what x is. For this case, we know that x is 1000 divided by 8. And we are done. This is exactly the example uh, we looked for. And of course, we can take bigger, bigger powers of 10. If we take not 1000, but 10,000, we get uh, just one zero additional zero. So there are other solutions, but other solutions are just the same plus zero at the end. So the, now, now we see how this problem can be solved. And of course, it's useful because it helps us to solve similar problems uh, with different, a bit different uh, number.